Hey, this is Billy from Permapastures Farm. We had um, a viewer ask about minerals, what minerals we gave to the sheep, and uh, also something about grazing. So today we're gonna cover some of that. The, um, instead of just covering the sheep, we're just gonna cover all of them, what we do in terms of minerals. Now, these little gals here, before these little piggies go to the market, we gotta make sure they're healthy, right? And we want them happy. We want everything good to be expressed in their meat when it ultimately goes to us. So, if you go back and watch some of the videos we've done in the past, you'll realize that these animals, in fact, none of the animals on our farm are given any store-bought food. We recycle stuff from places, whether it's a bakery, whether it's some other places that I can't disclose right now. No matter where they get it, you know, it's, it's not going to have everything they need in it because typically the store-bought feed you have has just about everything in there you need. And even then you still have to supplement. So they're given essentially non-GMO food. Um, it's not organic per se, and we can have a long discussion about that, but it's, they're given non-GMO food. And we supplement with the things you see right here in front of me. Now, when it comes to these pigs, we use Thorbin kelp. And, um, you know, they, they get it on free choice. We give it to them every morning, long before we feed them. And then in addition to that, what they don't get, they get from this biochar that we make from time to time. Now, keep in mind, these two girls alone have already been through roughly a 55 gallon drum of charcoal. And, you know, this stuff bioaccumulates all the stuff they need. So between the two of them, we're having enormous success. And then so we can continue on with the way we typically feed them. So without further ado, I'm going to show you with the pigs exactly what we do with them from day to day. And it's before they get going, before they get, we feed them in the afternoon. And they usually spend the day rooting around doing what it is they want to do. So until then, these guys know what time it is. And typically they're really wanting it. Try to separate them a little bit. They'll take what they want and then we'll take it away. When they eat this kelp, they're gonna take exactly what they want. They know, their bodies know better than you and I even, exactly what they need and how much they need. Sometimes they'll eat, sometimes they don't. But we'll just take, throw in some charcoal, and they'll get to that whenever they feel like it. I mean, there's more efficient ways to go about doing their mineral I'd be remiss if I didn't point out that our chickens do in fact eat store-bought grain. That's only for a short time until we move them over to a chicken tractor on steroid system. Go back and watch those videos and you'll see how awesome that works. Um, but essentially the pigs, the sheep, everything else, you know, our, our meat birds, everything else eats non-GMO food that we acquire from in town. And um, so you gotta supplement. And this is what we do. So in a nutshell, for these guys, it's kelp and charcoal, or in our case, biochar. So now let's move on to the sheep. Okay, here we are in the sheep tractor. And in this container, we have the lamb's uh, mineral and salt. This is the salt block, which is just a regular white salt block that you can get from Tractor Supply or your local farm store. And this is their, their mineral uh this mineral has a little bit of copper in it I'll, I'll show you the um the brand the label but um it's just it's got a bunch of different minerals in it but it does have a little bit of copper and some people will say that copper is is toxic to sheep they do need a little bit of it because the copper helps get rid of parasites and hair sheep can tolerate higher levels of copper than, than wool sheep can. Okay, so this is the mineral that we use for our sheep. It's from Advanced Biological Concepts and we'll include a link to it at the bottom of the, at the, of the video. It's got a bunch of different stuff in it. Um, it's got a little bit of copper in it. So there's a book that I use. It's uh, Natural Sheep Care by Pat Colby 
We'll include a link to that also. That's where I've gotten a lot of my information. And this is garlic barrier that we use to help with, with parasites. Sarah conducted a um, some research and they use this to um, help reduce parasite load in sheep for organic standards. So this is what we use. Okay, so we've also done a video in the past on some medicine that we give to our, our uh, lambs because we did have an incident um, we had an illness in one of the, with one of our sheep. And so I give them a little bit of molasses, vitamin C, uh, black seed oil, killer biotic. Killer biotic is from, from longevity. Dr. Joel Wallach is a, a veterinarian and a naturopath, and he has come up with some different vitamins and minerals. And he also came up with this killer biotic, which is for people, but there's nothing in there that sheep can't have. So we've given them that just to help with their immune system also to fight off this um, thing that they had. So that we give to them every day. There's vitamin C also, which Pat Colby talks about in her book, high levels of vitamin C for certain things. So uh, we give that to them and we also put a little bit of this garlic in it and if you mix it with molasses they don't seem to mind too much and the molasses also helps the garlic work a little more effectively okay folks so there you have it minerals nobody talks enough about it if you're feeding the stuff from the bag you still need the minerals so in a nutshell with the pigs it's extremely simple just thorbin kelp and biochar for us and like i said in just these several months that we've had them they've already been through a 55 gallon drum sorry folks these flies are awful right now. Anyway, they've been through a 55 gallon drum of biochar already. So pigs, it's pretty simple right there. And like I said, they're gonna root and they're gonna find what they need in addition to that. But typically the things you need are bioaccumulated right there in that charcoal. In fact, there was an old timer in town, echoed something I, um, I did a class with Joel Salatin once on uh, pigs. And he echoed exactly the same thing. He said, whenever their pigs got sick, they just throw charcoal. Well, we're going to try to mitigate that before they get sick. So we give them charcoal the whole time or biochar. It doesn't matter, either one. And then for the sheep, that was the specific question we were asked. It goes back to, I mean, Michelle gives them an elixir. I mean, it doesn't make sense if you've got 50 sheep out there. But if you have a small herd, you're dealing with a small area, and you're wanting, to, you're doing this stuff intensively, then you can add a little, you can do things that people like Greg Judy just don't have the luxury to do. Okay, so hopefully this information is helpful. Um, Michelle even gives this kelp to our dogs for crying out loud. And our dogs, we'll get to their diet in another, in another video, but that's probably gonna blow your mind when you find out what they eat on a regular basis. So this stuff, the minerals, they work great for us. If I'll show you what I go through in terms of minerals in a day so we we use it on ourselves as well so hopefully folks this information is useful to you if it is subscribe tell your friends about us and by all means stick around to, for the next one so until next time on behalf of michelle and william this is billy the permaculture pimp daddy from perma pastures farm where pimp stands for permaculture is my passion because it really is we'll see you next time